Welcome to Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, home of the A's. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Chicago White Sox going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get underway, towing the slab in today's game. Ross Stripling. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really, really struggled, up. batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success the from the left side. Nicky Lopez, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. And that drops in for a strike. In the air, left field down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. The why to kick the pitch. Swings and misses. Had him out front for strike three. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. But he's out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. So up next for Chicago, Miguel Vargas. Foul ball. Stripling, a guy that really fills up the strike zone, rarely walks people. The downside is the home run ball more likely in play. Right side, hard hit. Over to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand right. that they're going to come out of this. Andrew Vaughn in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, pitchers like this usually work down in the zone a lot, but these days, with all the uppercut swings most hitters are taking to elevate the ball, pitchers almost have to be effective up in the zone with hard stuff. So maybe that's one area he can improve in his game to try to... Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Back in Oakland, getting the nod on the mound, Tuki Tucson. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just well, having the comforts of being at yeah, home and home. having the fans behind them. But but this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. The wind of the pitch. Ball. Fouled off. He was late. And that's, that's down and away. Sandios. And Ball downstairs. Count. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create Ball. just a little bit of illusion at the end. Righty delivers. Downstairs, and it misses. Ball four. 
It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, he tried to yeah, nibble right up. there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't Miguel. offer it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's Miguel and Duhar. A little bit low. Center field. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. And there's one down. And time now to check out the A's lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored. And you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. Base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. That is cool. Brent Rooker up next to the A's. Really strong hitting performance recently, hitting better than 350 this month. That one is absolutely belted. Should be extra bases. And it will play. One runs in. The relay. Not in time. He's safe. It's 2-0. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Ball. First pitch misses. Man at second. Strike one. One and one. One one now. Chop to third. Senzel sends it across the first. Got the out. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Digging in for Oakland, Abraham Toro. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Runner at third, two away. That missed That's inside. Two and one. Two outs. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And it's two-zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in the East Bay. New inning getting started. And now the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The right-hander back to work. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Sheets. It is third season. 27 years old, and he was a second-round pick yeah, back in 2017. Our umpire one, behind one. the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. This one in the air, center field. And there's one down.
the second base. And here is Sosa to the plate. You know why Stripling has such a high arm slot? Well, he broke his leg in high school and couldn't play infield, so he was forced to adjust his throwing motion because of the cast on his leg. He changed his position and he never looked back. Throws the first in time. Batting fifth. The left fielder, number 23. Two Andrew. outs, base is empty. Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. And the it's first not. pitch misses for ball one. Two outs, base is empty. Next pitch That's misses nice inside, ball. and the count is 2 and 0. And that one is lifted in the air, and Benintendi is out. And that is that. So they go quietly there. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the A's two and the White Sox nothing. And we're back. The now the first baseman, the first Seth, baseman. Brown. Seth Brown. Toussaint back to work. And a good Down. eye there. Oh. Foul ball there. Good oh, eye in that in. spot. This to third. Senzel over to first. That's one out, the bottom of the second. Batting it. The, the second baseman. Base base Zeth. Gillow. And now Zach Gillow. That yeah. catches the corner. One out, base is empty. Next offering ah. in there for a strike. Oh, a two down. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. In time to ball. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. That's, That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Next up, it's the first year shortstop. He's been on fire at the dish lately, batting over 300 so far this month. The shortstop takes the ball. One and out. Two down, nobody on. Uh uh, ball. Out to short, Lopez. Zips it to first. Oakland goes quietly, and the A's are gone in order. They're up to nothing. For the Leading third on, inning, oh now God. it's Nick Senzel. It's interesting, he plays kind of a, a power spot Senzel. defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. That's a strike. Oh, and two. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Swings, threw it in, that's a strikeout. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count. And at that point, you can start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. Wouldn't chase that time. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. On the ground to the left, Toro. 
Tosses across the first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Good slider inside right there. Batter the fighting to get there. Just rolled Chucky over it. Got the ground Robinson. ball. Two outs. Base is empty. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Right through there for a strike. Down the line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Two outs. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Going two now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. It's a good take. And oh. another ball. Two, two. The White Sox trailing by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. On the ground, right side. On to first. And the White Sox go quietly. Nothing doing for the White Sox. They're still down. It's two zip. Of the inning. Go Here's go. Oakland's DH, the Lawrence Butler. Butler. And a pitch. Fouled off to the right. Hey, and that's in for a strike. And there's oh. a ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and fires. And that's no, outside. That's out. Not okay. close with that one. And that's ball three. The pitch. And down on strikes. And one out now. Next up for the A's, Miguel Andujo. He's over. Andujo. That one's in there on one. Ball no, one there. Ball. That's to third. Senzel throws the first in time. And two straight set down now to begin the bottom of the third. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. This is J.J. Blade. Singled and scored his first time. That Good. one in there across the letters. And he grounds one to the right side. Sosa tosses the first. Three up, three down, inning over. A's go quickly and quietly there, but they hold the 2-0 lead. And welcome back Lead to the ballpark. And now the shortstop, the Nicky Lopez. Nikki. You talk Lopez. about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. That's yeah. in there. That's strike one. Yeah, we go beyond just the uh, you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender but this but guy is special and you can see it in his first step Miguel. quickness Miguel Vargas steps to the plate for the White Sox he's over one this one in the air right field Rooker on the move they got it for out number two The bat. The first base. Two outs, base is empty. Andrew Vaughn will hit next. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. 
strike on the inside corner. Come He's been very consistent strike. with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. And here it comes. Misses no, off the man. play. One and one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. That's down oh. and in. Two and two. Hey, and a swing please. and a miss. And that's that. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. It's the A's two and the White Sox nothing. In Oakland, Lead John Chappie and Chris Singleton with you. The and leading off the bottom of the fourth, Brent Rooker. Rooker. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers right through there for a strike. pitch huh. swings and misses struck him out really love the pitch sequence right there I'm telling you now, what, now, pitcher now. and catcher yep, on sure. the same page right now and now here's the ace catcher Shay Langoliers known for his rocket arm behind the plate he swings and fouls one off Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Just no, that missed. missed. That's the ball. One and one. And that's, that's outside. Ball. Two balls, one strike. One down, base is empty. Just oh, missed. High. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He sends it out of here. His 21st of the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 3-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer and you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat he's that confident anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one nice piece of hitting there at the plate Abraham Toro up next for the A's So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Inside, no, just missed. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in, you see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for a strike. Nice job. One, two now. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Gets the out, two down after the strikeout. Now batting, first, first base. base. So here's Brown at the plate. Brown. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. That pitch in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. And a swing and a miss there. Man, he was really tardy okay. on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. 
it on the ground to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further as the A's are on top. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in the East Bay, ready now for the fifth inning. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox, Gavin Sheets. Stripling, back to work. That one missing inside. You know, these White Sox just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Natalie turns and heads for second. The throw in. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. So, man aboard. Now it's the second baseman, Lennon Sosa. Slow curveball drops in for a strike. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. The other way. Oh, he gloves it. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Ben intending to the plate, fly to right his first time. Close, but called a ball. Ball one. Yeah, the right hater deals. Chopped out towards short. Tosses to first. And Benintendi is out. Up next to Chicago. The third base. Nick. And next to hit for the Sox, Nick Senzel. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That one off the mark. 1 0. 1 0. Out to short. On the run, throw to first. Oh. And that is that. The White Sox leave one. Still down, 3 nothing. And we're back, ready to go for the last half the of the inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Zach Geloff. Geloff, 24 years old. He's one of the few Major League Baseball players born in the state of Delaware. Yeah. That one catches the zone. Strike one. Line drive. Nice grab. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Here's the shortstop at the plate. That's a strike across the top of the zone. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Vaughn makes the grab on the run. The designated hitter, number four, Lawrence. Lawrence Butler up next for the A's. A strikeout and a walk. And that's in there at the knees. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. That one finds the zone. That's strike two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind. 
as to the conviction in the call. Here comes a pinch. Just the off ball. the inside corner. Two and two. Two and two. Two outs. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing there for the A's, but they lead it 3-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now here is Dominic Fletcher. Dominic Fletcher. And the right hander back to work. And the no, slider just ball. misses. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. That that's one missed. The wind to kick the 2 0. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been ball, able ball. to commit to one velocity and stay there. Two and two. Swing and a ball popped up. Moving under this one. Puts it away for the out. Up next, next to Chicago. The catcher. Chucky. Here's the catcher. Grounded out his first time. Shoots a line drive single into right center. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. The bat out is the lead. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Nicky Lopez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And immediately pumps in a strike to the oh left-handed hitter. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Here comes the 1 On the ground, right side. And that one finds its way through. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Yeah, yeah. Miguel. Here's the White Sox DH, Miguel Vargas. Right through there for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Two on, one out. And now oh. the count is even. Pretty full we'll guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. And he deals. And a good eye high. there. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And ball. another ball. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Right hander kicks deals. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Bases loaded with one away. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. This is again five in a row. With the go-ahead run at the plate, and we're at the top half of the sixth.
and a pitch. Now this is in the air down the line and that will drop foul. Next pitch oh. is outside. At the belt and fires. Fights it off, you'll see another. The 2 2 now. Got him looking. And to a lay down. Gavin Sheets, the next to hit, one for two. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Fall off foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. One and one. one, and one. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. The 1-1. One, one. Hard liner. And that's the third up. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. It's the A's three. Here the White Sox nothing. Back now for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Number 33. Just trying to keep now this one close here. One and this is where a bullpen number can give their players a chance to fight through. back into the game. Digging in for Miguel Oakland, Blood. Miguel Andujar. No Miguel Andujar. The pitch. And that's, that's outside. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Johnny Brevia getting ready to go. Crochet warming up as well. Righty to the plate. There's a strike. One one. Slice to right, and that's a fair ball. Around first, heading for two. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. He didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So, man aboard, J.J. Bladé getting ready to hit. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Just that missed. missed. And it's second. Yeah. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left-hand batter waits. Hey! Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. Up next and there's one away. He was able to execute the perfect pitch for that situation. Had been pounding him with fastballs. And then all of a sudden pulls out the changeup and has good enough command to make it competitive. Tell you what, varying speeds like that to a hitter can be really, really effective. And right there, you can tell that hitter was just overmatched.
Rooker oh. up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Not two even close there. Now 2-0. Oh. Way high. Rio. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Rip to third and caught to second with the throw and no chance to get back. It's a double play. Back in Oakland, here's the second baseman, Lennon Sosa. And the pitch. Well, he's back oh. out there to begin the seventh. One that surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough the sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. The why to kick the pitch. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. He caught it behind his back. And they get the out. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. Andrew Benintendi steps up. Right down to shoot. That's strike one. Left hand hitter waits. That one fouled off. The Athletics leading by three. Here at the top half of inning number seven. In the air out to center. Dives and it gets by. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Now number 28 hitter. coming into the game number now is the injury hitter. replacement. Yes. Now the third baseman, Nick Senzel. Just nope. off the inside edge. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. On the ground, right side, Gelong throws the first in time. The center fielder, number seven, Dominic, Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. First pitch misses. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The 1 0. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. And it is gone. His first homer of the year, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 3 2. Chris, we knew this moment was coming for him soon. Yep, and it finally came. We knew it was only a matter of time before he's going to connect with one just like that. Just too good of a hitter at the plate. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good forcing fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it.
So two away with nobody on. And here's the catcher. Fly a ball to right. Rooker snags it, and that'll do it. Well, the White Sox with a two-run homer. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom of the seventh. Go. And yeah. now yeah. here is Shea yeah. Langoliers. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that yeah. big arm that really stands out. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Misses oh. outside, and a count one and two. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer, when you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big yeah. arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger now, lead, now, be now. aggressive no, on the no, secondary. No, no. But this Abraham. type of guy shuts the running game Toro. down. Abraham Toro up next for the A's. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And Benintendi able to make the grab. Now battle. The first baseman. And here's the first baseman, Brown. Seth Brown. And first offering is fouled off. And it's fouled away. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Two down, nobody on. Ah. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. A's go quickly and quietly there. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. A new arm into the game, the righty, Michelle Otanez. He last pitched two days ago. Nicky Lopez up to the plate, one for three. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Looking to get the tying run on base. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Out to short. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, Parker. So now the DH spot, Miguel Vargas. And a swing and a miss. 0 oh 1. That misses the zone, and the count is 1 and 1. On the ground, out to short. On the run, sends it over to first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. Oh, nice job by the shortstop to field that on the backhand and gather himself, get his feet underneath him. He had a long throw, but he knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure the grip, and finish the throw. Andrew Vaughn now. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. That one That's misses, and it's 1-0. Pitch. And the oh. one on misses low. Two Trying up. to hold a one run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. And a foul ball.
the 2 1. Swing and a foul straight back. That one That's in the cool. dirt, and the count is filled up. Line drive, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. Close play, but in there. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. So a change being made out at second on the pinch run. Luis Robert. And in scoring position with two away. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. In there at the knees. It's 0-1. So the tying run is second. And that one fouled off. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. And he hits a ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So a two-out double, but they don't score. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the A's three, and the White Sox two. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Johnny Brebbia. And this is appearance number 45. Now into the game, Corey Lee. He takes over as the new first baseman. Number 26, Corey. Well, one run game. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Zach Gellar. And a pitch. Brebbia, 6-1 uh -uh. righty. He features a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. You know, these athletics, ah. digging into their numbers, have to one be happy one. with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, no there's one. nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Ah. Flips the corner, and the count is even, two and two. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Now, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Meanwhile, Activity in the bullpen. Steven Wilson getting loose out there. The wind of the pitch. Top of the zone for a strike. And the count one and one. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. One, two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two out. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Keep him straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. Missed Stop. with a change up. And the count is two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. 
right handed reliever. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Two down, nobody on. This one high in the air to left center. Ben Intendi ranging after it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Gerardo Reyes. A chance at his first save of the year. Well, one run game. Now it's the second baseman, Lennon Sosa. The pitch. Off ball, the mark there. And that's ball one. Swings through that. One ball, one strike. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. And no another good. ball doubled up on the slider away. Two seamer here. Just watch and see. Next offering oh. upstairs. We got a full count. Andrew Benintendi in the on deck circle. Oh. Payoff pitch. Hey. Got him. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Oh, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come oh. in and oh. close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. And that one fouled off. One run game here at the top of the ninth. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And that's, no, that off missed, that's the ball. inside edge. And that's ball two. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And fouled off. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Benatendi is out. And there's two away. White Sox down to their final out. Nick Senzel now at the plate. That one's in there. 1 1. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So the hard ball. to play catch up. Just off the outside edge. A one run lead here at the top of the night. And that's in for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. One strike away. Got him! And that's the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 3-2 the final score. Oakland hangs on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomney saying so long.